I share some of the things that I use when I get really bad cramps or a migraine? Yes, hello. Um, because I deal with really bad migraines and cramps and I'm sure somebody else out there does too. And I figured I'd share some tips because when you're struggling, you need all the help that you can get. You can't eat any of this. So I'm just gonna go in a random order. Okay, so the first thing, let's see. Is there like an order? Well, I should share that I get abdominal migraines. So whenever, like my stomach, it doesn't feel good. And whenever I'm having tummy issues, whether it's cramps or nauseous or whatever, I then get a migraine. Or if I have a migraine, I then get the stomach issues. So they're kind of cyclical, which is really fun. Um, so some of these things kind of help with both, but anyways. Um, and I also get very, very nauseous, which who doesn't with cramps? Because like, ow. Okay, the first thing is a food, which is gonna be a little weird because when you're nauseous, you don't want to eat anything. But, they're ginger juice. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> ew. Um, they're ginger chews, and these are like just the plain ginger chews. They're from Prince of Peace, 100% natural ginger chews, original flavor. Um, because I think they make them in like a lemon flavor and uh, anyways, they really help when you're nauseous because you don't want to be nauseous and ginger really helps with the stomach. So anyways, you probably already knew that, but and, and ginger juice, I carry them around in my purse, in my house, in everything because you need it. Um, obviously, Tums, sometimes if I catch it really, really early, I'm a child, okay. Sometimes if you catch it really early, you can, a Tums or two can really help cut the nausea down. Just gotta listen to your body. Start learning when you're nauseous and be really mindful of it um, because then you'll start being able to pick it up quicker. And if you pick it up before it gets too bad, these really, really help. A supplement that I take that really, really helps with the cramps is magnesium glycinate. Uh, I take the 400 because I need intense help. Um, but you can take, I think, 200 a day or 400 a day. I take them at night but I don't think it really matters. What? Okay, the next bit is this. She loves this, so maybe this will help her. Um, this, <laughs> yes, is a little thing that I wear when I get it, when I feel it. Ooh, Jesse. Um, it's, I think it's called a, a Q-leaf. Q-leaf, a Q-leaf. It has like this little shape of a thingy and then C-U-L-I-E-F. These help so much. Um, you're supposed to put it on your hand, like in between here and that's like a pressure point that's supposed to help like regulate your blood flow when you don't get a headache something about the blood flow and the headaches and it cancels it out so see bands now I know it's you know I'm not going to see but like they help because sometimes uh, if you're having cramps or a migraine or a headache or whatever you then get nauseous and if you have to ride in a car you know the pain so uh Get yourself some C-bands because you need all the help you can get. Okay, the next thing is like one of my holy grail items. It's one of the first thing I got when I had really bad cramps. It's a TENS machine. And some of you are like, what's a TENS machine? This one is the TENS 7000. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It's like $25. You need it. Um, if there's one thing to take away from this entire video, it's this little machine and you need to go get it. Because... God. It's electrostimulus. It's like what you, if you ever went to physical therapy and they have these thingies. I got, I mean, I ordered these on Amazon because they're the bigger ones because I put it on my stomach and the smaller ones lose their stick faster. They're the little pads and you attach it with the wire and it's the machine and then it goes, blah, blah, blah. um, yeah, these are genius. Uh, you need a tense machine and then you can Google, uh, like what intensity to put it on and things like that, uh, based on what kind of pain you're having and whatnot and how long you want to wear it. But that machine uh, is a lifesaver, and uh, I use it all the time. I just recently started using this. It's a CBD cream uh, that my sister got for me. Um, it definitely really, really helps, especially at night, just to kind of calm everything down. But it's not like a miracle worker. It doesn't work, like, immediately. So I suggest using it on the onset of crimps, because afterwards you're not really going to feel much. All right, next I started using blue light glasses. That kind of help with migraines, and if I'm nauseous, I can't really concentrate on anything because I'm so nauseous and my stomach hurts so bad that I can't, like, focus. But if I want to just, like, watch a YouTube video or watch TV or something on my laptop, these really help. So I suggest getting yourself a pair. You don't have to get, like, a fancy pair, but it might help. Okay, next, basically the rest of this is more migraine-based. Um, you're going to think I'm crazy. 
Pedialyte. Because a lot of the times when you're having a migraine, you can really help stop it in its tracks from getting worse. You're hydrated. And a lot of the time when I have a migraine, I'm also really nauseous, so I don't want to drink anything. So if you put Pedialyte in your drink, then it's like having like three water bottles for one water bottle. So, But you really can't get enough Pedialyte. I, Pedialyte's great for you, so Pedialyte. I have a little, like, diffuser. And originally I was like, oh, it's fun, it's cute, whatever. But then I started doing research on migraines and I realized, oh my god. Uh, so this helps me a lot. I diffuse the three that I got with my starter pack, which happen to be three that are actually really helpful for migraines. Uh, lavender, so that you don't get stressed and your brain doesn't go crazy and it doesn't get worse. Uh, eucalyptus, which I love. It's a like a stress relief smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and peppermint. Those really, really help, these three. And I put them all together, and I don't know how many drops. I just kind of like shake it a lot, so it's probably too much. But but that tends to really help, especially at night. If I have a migraine when I'm going to bed, that really helps. Also in the essential oils category, I have three little roll-on sticky sticks. The first one is the migraine stick that is on Amazon. Now, I just got this, so I can't really tell you if it works well or not. But I like the smell, so there's one. This one, I think I got randomly from somewhere. It's a Sagely Natural CBD Roll-On Relief and Recovery. Um, so it has a little bit of CBD in it too. And this one, this one I got while I was in Los Angeles at their like shop in Venice. And it's a Sage Natural Wellness and it's their Gutsy Blend. And you roll it on your stomach and you rub it in. It's really potent, but it's supposed to help uh, when you're nauseous and cramps and things like that. And I do notice that this does definitely help. So, if you're looking for a good CBD roll-on for your stomach and not your head, this is it. Eye mask. Now, I was the type of person, come here, what's this, that hate eye masks. I always was petrified of using an eye mask because I fell asleep and it came over my nose and over my mouth and I wouldn't be able to breathe and there we go. So, I never wanted them. However, when I started getting really bad migraines, I, we, we get them as gifts, you know, from people and random. So, I had this in the house and it's just enough pressure on my face it helps with the pressure of a migraine so I really like that because it it really helps because a lot of the time I uh so that really helps there's also ones that uh that one's like a cloth one which I kind of just use as is I don't really heat it up uh heat it up or cool it down I just kind of use it for pressure but if you can get the ones that you can freeze get it get it get seven of them because oh my god it helps so much because normally when you have a migraine like your head is it's not throbbing like a headache, but it, you have pressure, and the ice really, really helps to cool it down, and I also got a migraine hat, but it's in the freezer, so I can't show you, but it looks ridiculous. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, you look like a lunatic, especially if your little ice pack's froze in like a weird shape. Uh, it helps so, so, so much. So the migraine hat that I got was just one from Amazon where you stick a bunch of, it has like four or five little slots in it and they stick like here and like three up at the top and you just wrap it around your head and it cools your head off. You can also do that with like the really big ice packs that bend and just stick it on your head. I'm telling you, ice packs on your head, it works. Also, whenever I go outside now, I wear a hat because sunlight and light can really start to bother me. Now, some people like sunglasses. I'm not a big sunglasses person. But also sunglasses, the light can come in from a size and the top and everything. This really, really, really helps. I highly recommend. Okay, two more things. Obviously, I mean, I spoke to my doctor. If you're having all these symptoms that's not normal, go to your doctor and get help and see if they can give you anything. I have migraine meds now, and I have uh, meds that help with my stomach. Please get some medication if you need it and if you want it. And if it's applicable, just talk to your doctor and see what you can do. I made some cookbooks that help. This is an endometriosis cookbook. It's Tia Mowry's from Oh, am I going to get copyright? Because this is for endometriosis, which is what I'm dealing with. But get yourself a migraine cookbook, a migraine diet cookbook, a cookbook for gut health, or whatever your issues are, there's a cookbook for it. Get a cookbook. Because if you're eating the foods that... Are good for you and is going to help lessen your symptoms eat the foods because why wouldn't you anyways i love this cookbook i mean how do people show things like this pictures yay i have like a bunch of different cookbooks uh that are uh specialized to certain things that i need this one's an endometriosis cookbook i have one that's uh 
I have a few actually, a lot that are vegan cookbooks because I don't eat meat and I don't eat dairy. Um, so find what your issue is and find a cookbook because it's really, really going to help you. Um, that's pretty much all that I have. Uh, those are all my tips and tricks for migraines and, uh, cramps and all of those things. I mean, granted, you could always keep using a heating pad. I feel like that's like a big obvious one. Like everyone's like, oh, a heating pad or take Advil, take it, the Advil. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope this helps somebody because all these tips helped me and I needed it. Uh, now I'm able to manage everything. I used to not be able to get out of bed at all for a lot of days because everything was always an issue. So get some help, get some of these things. I really, I mean, this diffuser was like, one box. It's not a, you don't have to get a fancy diffuser. I mean, you can. Okay. You can. I love it. But, I mean, this doesn't hold much, but it's enough that I can fall asleep with it and it's on. And then it's like a little night light because it changes colors. This one, the migraine stick on Amazon, I think it's like $10, 10 and change. Uh, so use that. Uh, this one was like $19.99 and it's incredible. These are my top ones. I mean, I can't really pick top, top, top things. Anyways, now I'm rambling and this is, I'm done. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have some tips. If not, it's great. It's fine. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, bye.